This is a tale, of course. The story is inactive taking place. Since you hear it, you have the obligation of being one of the cast of characters. He who has had the luck to be born a character can laugh even at death. He cannot die. Since you've come to this room, you seem motionless. Just as I look for signs of you on the other side of the door, so you too look for signs of me. The streets of this city have no names. The spaces that compose it in detail are unnamed. Domiciliation is sustained by an abstraction. You must orient yourself in it by walking, by sight, by habit. You must orient yourself in it by walking, by sight, by habit. The images and words ought to be a help to those who come after us. Here every discovery is intense and fragile. It can be repeated or recovered only by memory of the trace it left in you. To visit a place for the first time is thereby to begin to write it. If this was the starting point, would we be successful commencing all over again from the beginning? Of course, it should be possible to start over again any number of times. Of course, it should be possible to start over again any number of times. A went stealthily out into the street with the box over his head and didn't come back. Once a day, I would put on the box and go out into the town. Wandering about the streets like a transparent person, I'd go around collecting. As you can see, I am interested in the quality of accumulation, of representing a group of things, storing, categorizing, arranging and rearranging. I would go around collecting. Beneath the dark flutter of the griffin's wings we dream, between gripping and being gripped, the concept of consciousness. I like the idea that I can amuse or disappoint myself without being distracted by the desire or the need to create this eternal monster, a masterpiece, or to obey the autocratic need for a statement. And the thinking relates to this persisting crisis about my identity as an artist, as a whole, my joyful but painful diversity as an artist. How to make from all the components, fragments, patches, one thing. Maybe instead of seeing myself officially as one artist, I should declare myself as many artists with many names. Why not? Here we have a man whose job it is to gather the day's refuse in the capital. Everything that the big city has thrown away, everything it has lost, everything it has scorned, and everything it has crushed underfoot, he catalogues and collects. Artists are born unequal. I am little, five feet one inch, and many of you out there are six foot one, and no technique can stretch me to six foot. A rock cannot become a mountain, and a frog cannot blow himself up and become a swan. The most beautiful butterfly I have ever pinned down suddenly bursts through the glass and dances mockingly upwards in the blue air. Now I should catch it again, but I am not equipped for this kind of locomotion. Or to be exact, I should like, but my intellectual training does not permit me to do so. The artist is never of his time. He is always against his time. If he would be only of his time, he is already dead. We run out of time, and time runs out on us. 
May everybody to his dying days learn how to enjoy art, but for heaven's sake, let's stop manufacturing artists.